the quadratic sequence. The quadratic sequences are um, often very viewed as the most difficult of the sequences. Not really because it's true, but uh, it is a little bit more complicated. And uh, the most basic sequence is actually uh, determined by the terms Tn is equal to n squared. In other words, when n is 1, we find n uh, 1 times 1 is 1. When it's 2, it's 2 times 2 is 4. So term 2 is 4. 3 and 3 is 9. 4 and 4 is 16. You get the picture. It's all the square numbers. 25, etc. For the quadratic sequence, they have to give us three terms to actually be able to determine whether... Uh, sorry, not three, four terms. So we'll have to have it all the way up to here to actually be able to determine whether it is a quadratic sequence. So this is the most basic one that we can probably find. But how will we recognize that it is a quadratic sequence? Well, let's look at the first difference. If we take the first difference, um, and what I mean by first difference, it is simply taking the numbers and uh, or the terms and subtracting them once from each other. So 4 minus 1 gives me, and I just want to take this away, 4 minus 1 gives me 3, 9 minus 4 gives me 5, 16 minus 9 gives me 7, do you see the pattern, 3, 5, 7, the next one should be 9, let's see, 16 plus 9 gives me 25, 25 plus 11 gives me 36, okay, so how are we getting this term, this sequence? we seem to be adding 2 every time. Okay. We're adding 2 every time. And this time, we notice, uh -huh, we don't have a constant difference. That's this one. This is my first difference. Let's write it on this side. First difference. I don't have a constant first difference. My first difference itself forms an arithmetic sequence. And what I do have is a constant second difference. Okay, so I have a constant second difference. Now, the general, uh, so that's the identifier, okay, and um, the it doesn't have a prof property other than the second difference being constant, but um, how will we find the general term? Now, the general term would, in most general circumstances, look like this. It's a n squared plus b n plus c and you'll notice that we get three parameters not just two as before now we have three parameters how are we going to find those three parameters a is not the first term okay it's not the first term be sure that you know that okay but what we can do is again just look at these first numbers and the second difference, the constant second difference, is half the value of a. So, or actually double the value of a. So, um, 2a is equal to 2. And to this one is equal to 3a plus b will be equal to 3. And this top one will be A plus B plus C. And from these three equations, that A plus B plus C, that um, will be equal to 1. From these three equations, we can go and solve them simultaneously to find the values A, B, and C. You can see in this one, we're going to find A immediately. Now that we have A, we'll find B. Now that we have A and B, we can find C using this last equation. Okay, in the next video we're going to have a look at an example and then also in another video we'll actually see where does uh, where do these equations actually come from. Okay, see you in the next video.